We are back with Dr. Steve Austin. We're talking about biblical earthquakes, the earthquakes that are recorded in the Bible. And Dr. Austin, you've had the opportunity now to do some special digs in the Dead Sea. Tell us why digging there is a great place to find out about earthquakes. Yeah, now take a look at some sediment layers. You can see uh, of, in, in the mud uh, from the Dead Sea the uh, kind of gray layers, which is clay mud. There, there we see clay mud. We see clay mud here. And then we see the white layers, which are calcium carbonate mud. And that's a different kind of mud than the clay mud. And it creates this alternating uh, light and dark layering that is very evident in the sediment layers and is undisturbed. Now, what is interesting about that uh, is how little disturbance there is except for the earthquakes. And this graphic shows the idea of how earthquakes create a record within the sediment layers of the Dead Sea. So you have laminated sediment, as shown here in the pre-seismic uh, situation, pre-seismic Dead Sea sediment, and it's laminated. It's laminated right here. Now what happens is an earthquake occurs, and it shakes the sediment, and the upper part of the sediment liquefies or becomes lofted during the earthquake and then recompacts to make a disturbed layer, and then post-seismic after the earthquake, that layer is buried. And so you have a record inside of the sediment layers of the earthquake. And um, it um, allows the, uh, basically, a, it's like a seismograph. It creates a record. It leaves a clear of, record a, for A you, clear record for me to study. Here we can see some of the uh, Dead Sea mud exposed. And uh, I, here I'm looking at the layer from 31 BC, right here. Right here. That's 31 BC, uh, the disturbance layer. So you can actually look at that and date it because it's undisturbed and know, see where earthquakes occurred. Yes, it's a historical record of the earthquakes right yeah, there for you. Right there for study. Uh -huh. And then interesting, because that's a big earthquake that, that hit Qumran just right. next door to where this earthquake uh, sediment is seen, uh, we can see the laminated sediment right here up to that level perfectly displayed undisturbed. And then we see a thin layer only about three inches thick right there. That's the earthquake of 33 A.D., right there. And, and, and from this, you would say that the earthquake in 31 B.C. is a bigger earthquake than the one in 31 A.D. 33 A.D. is 33 bigger. 33 A.D., excuse me. Yes. Uh, and it's a, it, uh, so 31 B.C. is a much bigger earthquake than uh, in, in the sediment layers than 33 A.D. But we can see the uh, 33 A.D. That's about 64 years of, uh, of sediment. sediment there in uh, just a, f a few feet. That's amazing how and that just lines up perfectly with the, with the chronological record in God's Word. Yeah. So the question is, what earthquake are we looking at at 33, BC, at 33 A.D.? Well, it's when the earth shook when Jesus died. When Jesus died on the cross, according to the Gospels, there was a great earthquake. And there it is recorded in the sand of, uh, of the, yeah. the Dead Sea. In the mud layers of Dead the, Sea, the we, see the, we see the evidence of that uh, big earthquake. Take a look at the detail of 33 A.D. You can see the, the thin layer running right along here. And then you can see the, the post-disturbance layer. And that, all that wrinkling going on there is the effects of the earthquake wave Shaking impacting that, yeah. that sediment. The light layers are the chemical carbonate layers and the gray layers are the clay layers. And uh, the, it looks like uh, 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 a, an earthquake of about magnitude 5.5, maybe magnitude 6, shook the bottom of the lake. It's amazing. Th there.